So it seems I'm the problem, at least this time. In the last video, it was pointed out to me in the comments that the whole new screen setup thing has to be, it has to be set up in experimental. It has to be activated in experimental. And I'm embarrassed to say this, but when I was looking back at the video, it was there and I just never noticed it. So in the video, at some point I go into experimental and I'm basically focused on the whole swipe typing thing, which in the previous update, this was supposed to become just regular. It's not, it was supposed to be taken out of experimental. And I was so focused on that that I didn't notice this part right here. New window layout. We all make mistakes. So to fix that mistake, I'm doing this video now. I'm gonna activate it. Not sure if I actually have to restart uh, Try New Layout, which allows you to grab and move windows freely in your space. You can also watch videos and other 2D content on a large screen. I don't, I thought we could always do that, but I could be wrong. So let's uh, turn it on, see what happens. Of course, restart required. Now, as I said in the last video, do not make this mistake. If you're recording, do not hit restart until you end your recording. That way it actually saves it. Otherwise it will get corrupted. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, and now we're back. I just started the recording again. And this is what happened after the restart. When, the, when I opened the windows, they look like this. I don't know why it looks like this. It's at an angle for some strange reason. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Um, but they're they're not connected to each other it looks like that's what seems to be the the difference here they're, they're all at an angle but they're all like off from one another I was playing around with this oh 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 okay now well, that's neat oh it's still snapped into place okay I have questions though what else can we do? Go to the store. Oh shit, look at that. See this little outline right there? So if I put something there, will it? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so let's try to open something else. Let's go with the uh, browser, I guess. I can kind of bring it closer, but I, I literally have to pull my arm in. That's what we got. And I'm sure I'll play with it for a little while, get bored with it, and then just end up using the same thing I've been using, which is just one screen at a time. Now, they mentioned something else. They mentioned 2D full screen, but I could have sworn we could do that already. Before I end the video, I wanted to see the whole feature of having the full size screen while, while playing a game or whatever. And then I realized that they also mentioned about Netflix. You can use the browser to get into Netflix and not only see it on a big screen, you can, you're can you gonna get the full quality, not like the bullshit that the actual app uses. Click here for big screen, like a theater view screen, and then click here if you wanna do like a, like a fully immersive thing. There we go. Find the right format. Looking at an immersive photo video, tap here to change your display mode to 180, 360 or 3D. Okay, let's close that. Now over here it says, see it on the big screen. Tap here to experience this web page in theater view. Okay, so I'm guessing this over here, or maybe this, like display, there it is, you see that? Okay, 2D non-VR, 3D left or right. I, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I've never experienced this before, so I don't, I don't know if this is even, if this is a new thing or what. 2D non-VR, that's what we're looking at now. 3D left, right, 3D top, bottom. This isn't a 3D video, so it, it probably is gonna suck. VR 180, VR 180. I don't think I could do any of these. It would actually need to be a 3D film. So let's get out of here, but let's try over here. That's neat. So it makes the environment dark, but not completely dark. So it's like you're still in your environment, and you, you just set up a projector screen and you're watching a movie. Can it go any bigger than this? It kind of can, I think. Yeah, look at that. 
Can I push it further out? I cannot, but I can physically move back. Oh, this is neat. This is really neat. This is almost rivaling big screen, the app, big screen, because you get to stay in your own little environment, whichever environment you choose. And I still hear it in the background. That was really nice of those guys to invite me, but how come I'm so awkward around people? Oh, that's disappointing. So unlike big screen, no way I can neglect our business. The audio sucks. You know, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in the video, but um, in big screen, when you watch something, I don't know how they do it, but the same way the image looks like you're in an actual theater because it, the light from the screen will go into the environment. That's what, what makes it so good. It'll, it'll lead out into the environment. The sound does something very similar. You, you hear the sound like it's in the room. However, this, well, they're not earthworms. They're lugworms, actually. I only hear the sound in, like it's directly in my headphones, as if I'm wearing headphones. Whereas, like I said, with big screen, it tricks you into thinking you're in a room and you're hearing it bouncing off the walls, like actual surround sound. But on big screen, you're very limited with what you can watch. I'm, I don't think Netflix is part of it. Um, I know Hulu, you can do it. Uh, Disney Plus, you can do it. But other than that, like it's, it's kind of limited now. I haven't used big screen in a while, I'll be honest with you. But, but for what this is, not bad. Like, that's what that was. It's just we weren't in a, in a game. So the fact that you can do that in a game as well. So let's just jump into something that we can check it out and see. Let's go into Veil. All right, so we're in Veil. So here we are. Let's test this screen out and see if we can actually do it in here. I can't make it any bigger. It's not working. I wanted to do the where it actually dims so it looks like it's like you're in a theater. So where is the theater view? Maybe it just doesn't work in the game. So let's get out. So we're back out here and let's see if we can make it work in here. Okay, you see the, that little icon there? That little icon right there next to the minimize and close. Was that there during play? Let's go back and check. It's not there. It's not there. And it's not there either. So we can't do that during a game we can only have it as a large a large ish screen without the full like theater simulation but at least we got to see that so we got to see the different screens which by the way from what i can tell at least in this app you can't do the, the different screens it's just one screen and that's it you can't have the multiple screens only in your home environment can you actually play around with that in an app it's still relegated to just one screen at least from what i can tell let's get out of this here all right let's see if i can do it now yep see so you can't do it in game you can access one screen you can watch something like a video and just make the screen a certain size but you can't have multiple screens i'm okay with that probably not even gonna use it that's just me though I mean other people might find it useful all right that's pretty neat it's different how useful it is probably depends on the person so yeah so that was that's the new features for version 67 again my fault for not noticing that it actually was there it was just that it was in experimental and because I didn't read it as such I didn't even bother to look at it, even though it was right there the whole time. I was actually looking at this and talking about this, and it was right there. Kind of embarrassing. But anyways, that's what I got for you. So if you enjoyed this video or found it informative in any way, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to see extra stuff, behind the scenes stuff, just me talking a lot of shit sometimes, why not become a member? And with any luck, I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care.